Okay, this is a brief history of fractions video. Um, so a long time ago, say 4,000 years ago or 1800 BC or BCE, um, Egyptians were using fractions and they might've been the first. Um, the Babylonians were also using fractions really early on too. Um, and the Egyptians were using fractions. Um, they were using symbols to represent numbers um, called hieroglyphs. So here's just an example of a couple. So the Egyptians were using a base 10 number system, which is what we use as well. Um, they had these symbols. So for example, this, I think it was like a staff was used to represent the number one. This symbol represented the number 10 and a symbol like this represented a hundred and they'd have symbols for a thousand, 10,000, etc. Um, and then another interesting thing about the way Egyptians wrote fractions was that all of them were written as unit fractions, which means they had a one in their denominator, all of them. That was the requirement to write a fraction. So they couldn't write three over four. They could only write, let's say you wanted to write three quarters. You would have to write that as a combination of unit fractions. So you would have to write it as a half plus a quarter. Um, because that's the only way they wrote fractions, in unit fractions. Um, so, for example, um, using their hieroglyphs, if you wanted to write the number one-fifth, uh, you would put this symbol on top, like a, like a mouth, I think it is, represents part. Um, and then the numbers below it would represent the denominator. So you'd put the five ones. So this symbol right here would represent one fifth. Or let's say you wanted to write one sixteenth. You could use the symbol for 10 along with six ones. So this right here would represent one sixteenth. And I think writing it this way made calculations a bit tough, like adding and subtracting. Um, they also had this other weird rule that they couldn't, you couldn't write things as a combination of unit fractions. You know, so if you wanted to write, um, like you wouldn't be allowed to write a third plus a third is two thirds. Like you couldn't express two thirds using two of the same unit fractions. You'd have to switch them up and do a combo of other unit fractions. So that made it a lot tougher. You weren't allowed to do that. Um, so Babylonians were also coming up with fractions a, a long, long time ago. Uh, they lived in the country that we now call Iraq. Um, but different, they had a better way to represent their fractions, but they used a different number system than the Egyptians. They used a base, a base 60 number system, which is a little bit more complicated. Um, we use base 60 for things like time and angles. Okay, another... Uh, thing to note in the history of fractions is the country India. Um, they wrote them more like the way we see them today. They used fraction, they used, uh, their own symbols called Brahmi. Um, and they would write fractions more like the way we saw them. Like they wanted to write two fifths. They would write it like that. Um, and then fast forward a little farther and it was, uh, the Arabs that, decided to write the, like decided to add that line in between them and write them more kind of like the fractions that we see today. So that would be one half. Uh, there are many more countries involved in the development of fractions too. And it, it's all over online. If you want to ever look it up, it's pretty interesting. And that is just a brief history of fractions lesson.